What's going on, chosen elect? Glad y'all could join me. Y'all know the routine. Let's say it together. Get you something to eat. Get you something to drink. And if you're fasting, that's even better. Before we get started, y'all know y'all need to what? Fasten them seatbelts. That's right. Let's start with Galatians today. Chapter 5, verse 1. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1. Let's hit the ground running. Uh, here it is. Galatians 5, 1. Uh, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ had made us free. With the Spirit of the Lord, there is liberty. To whom the Son is made free is free indeed, right? And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage, captivity, man, the flesh, the spirit of this world, you know, so on and so forth, you know. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. Yeah, that's according to the flesh, circumcision of the flesh. Uh, that's the old Mosaic law. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to the whole law. If that's what you're living by, the Mosaic law, you still in debt. Right? Because you got no sacrifice for sins. That's that's simple. We we going to simplify everything today. We've already been doing it myself in the mighty great line. The videos, there's enough videos up there. To perfect the saints. Okay. So, after we do it all, what we do? We, we just go over it. I remember I used to read the Bible. I finished the whole Bible. I'd be like, what do I do now, Lord? My spirit just say, read it again. You just go over it. You keep going over it and over it. Uh, uh, one way or the other, you're going to keep repeating. Whether you're going around the wilderness, around and around and around for disobedience. That's what you keep doing. Many people's lives are that way, man. They just in the desert. They in the wilderness. They just in dry places, man. They just ain't going nowhere spiritually. Right? They at a dead end. Right? For disobedience to God's word. And if your life is like that, if you, you, you dry and dead and cold, and uh, you don't feel God's presence, His love, His grace... His mercy, you feel like you abandoned, well, you are that person. You're that person because you won't let his love in. You won't let his light in. You know, you're stubborn. You know, repent. Humble yourself. You know, make your flesh bow down. Make your spirit bow down. And uh, let's finish this. Let's finish this. And, and allow Christ Jesus to be your sacrifice. Your sacrifice. But you got to go high in the spirit. It means you got to let go of the earthly realm. <laughs> you got to let go of covetousness. Let go of yourself, your independence. Well, let's finish this. Galatians chapter 5, we on verse 4. For Christ is become a non-effect unto you, whosoever you are, justified by the law of, of, of the flesh. You know, that's that first Mosaic law. Ye are fallen from grace. And grace is in the heavens. Grace is in the heavens. So if you're trying to do this independently, that's what it's saying. you fallen from grace, man. Right? The Mosaic law showed our independence. It showed us that we was in need of a Savior. Right? That's uh, Romans chapter 3, verse uh, 19 and 20. It showed us... Uh, the law is knowledge of sin. Then if you a sinner, you need a savior. All right, so verse 5, for we through the spirit wait for the hope of righteousness, right? By faith, the hope of righteousness by faith. For Jesus Christ, neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but faith, faith uh, worketh in us unto a new creation, y'all. That's what faith does. But faith which worketh 
by love. See that faith works by love. And love is what? The Spirit of God. Faith worketh by love. What does that mean? Faith worketh by love. Now we got to go deep in this. We got to dig deep, y'all, because we got to go to what? The root of the matter. Or let's say another word, the heart of the matter. And that's what Jesus brought us. The root of the matter and the heart of the matter. King Shoot Man, what you talking about? I'm going to explain. I'm going to show you by scriptures. Mark 12. Faith worketh by love, right? That's what we're dealing with. Faith worketh by love. See, just like the Mosaic Law dudes, of course, they're going around in that circle, the desert, the wilderness, because they don't have the love of God. And again, if you cold and dry and uh, discontent and uh, uh, abandoned by God's spirit and power and love, you're the same way. God's love is not in you. And His love is not flowing through you. And that's your own fault. I understand that. You can blame no one. You can't blame your mama, your daddy, your children. It's your own fault. Okay, because our faith makes us whole. Our faith makes us whole. And what faith is, basically, is, is, is cleaving to the Lord with your whole heart and your whole soul. That's what the love is. We're going to see that. The love and the faith is one and the same. Okay. But uh, every man is on his own. Each man to himself. That's why he cut us all off. So you have to cleave to the Lord as an individual. You have to marry him. We have to marry him individually. That's why you can't go around no people. Like people go to church. Christians, for, for example. Just because they gather in the building. They think they a family. They think they one on them. Well, they are in unbelief. But as an individual, when you cleave to the Lord, He'll raise you above them. He'll separate you from that congregation. Because that's how the Lord works. Okay. This is an individual thing. He's gathering us as individuals. Uh, let me show you that first before we do Mark. Give you a better understanding of what I just said. Because some of y'all think I'm tripping. But I'm living, I'm going by scripture. If you go by scripture and I can show you in scripture, then I'm winning. You lose that that argument. You know what I'm saying? But if I say something I can't show you, like the Hebrew is like under Mosaic law, you can't show me Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. You all these people talking about Yah and and uh Elohim and all these other names they use in Jehovah. No, you gotta show me with the King James Bible. Show me it is written with the King James Bible. If you can show me what you talking about in the King James, you win. But if I can show you, you can't show me, I win. You see what I'm saying? This is a checker, so a chess. It's the game of life. If you run out of scriptures and I can keep going with the book, I win. And vice versa. If you got the scriptures and I run out, you win. But we got to use that book. We got to use that holy book. Now, nah, you're not wiser than the book. I'm not wiser than that book. That book is the law. That book is the judge called the Holy Bible. Nah. What was I at? Uh, Jeremiah 3, verse 12. It says, Go proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful, said the Lord. That's what we want. We want him to be merciful to us. Right? Ain't that what you want? You that are cold and despondent and, 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 and barren. You know? You who are, are, are wretched. And you feel all of that on the inside of you. you. You don't even have a desire to live. Right? You, A lot of people lose the will to live. They lose the will to go on and all of that. Right? That's how deep this gets. And then we try to cover it up with drugs and alcohol and sex. 
you know, with man-made inventions. That's how this work. That's the flesh. Because they trying to do it without the faith of God and the love of God. They trying to do it without <laughs> the will of God, which is his word. Huh? You you still in that independent world. That's independence, man. Right? And he gonna let you do that as long as long as you you know don't trust him. You know, because you have to invite the Lord in. You have to willingly call on him, call on his name, and invite him in. You got to acknowledge your sickness that you're sick. He came to save the sick. But if you but if you're too prideful and you just believe and you don't need him, you don't want him, you don't and and we gonna we're gonna get there when we hit the mark. The key is you don't love him. You don't love him. And that's what's destroying us. It's our lack of love for God. And Jesus told us this in his word. You know, we hate him without a cause. Without a cause. And I guess the flesh would say, well, we have a cause. Because we don't want to obey him. We don't want to lose our life. The flesh can say that. The flesh can say that. But God's trying to give you a greater life. Didn't Jesus say, I come to give you life that you may have it more abundantly? John chapter 10, verse 10 and 11. More abundantly. So the flesh is, is scared of the unknown. It's scared of the unknown. Okay. Uh, let's get back to Jeremiah 3, verse 12. Go proclaim these words toward the north and say return. That's, that's what the gospel is. We're telling the children of Israel, uh, be ye reconciled to your God. Return to him. Thou backsliding Israel, said the Lord, and I will not cause my anger to fall upon you. For I am merciful. That's what we want right there. Keep that in mind. Highlight that. I am merciful, said the Lord, and I will not keep my anger forever. Only acknowledge. This is what I've been talking about this whole video. Can you acknowledge? Only acknowledge thine iniquity. Can you do that? That the fault is with you. Don't point the finger at my daddy or my mama or my cousin or my granddaddy. You can't do that. You can't do that. You got to point the finger at you. Yeah, man. I remember when I was, like I was saying in this video, I remember when I couldn't love. I couldn't bow down to God. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't pray for certain people. And the Lord showed me that was me. I ain't like the way certain people talked. It was just the tone of their voice. I mean, it was, it was just icky to me. But I was the one tripping. The Lord showed me that was me. It was me. I had to acknowledge it was me. That's what I'm reading now. Only acknowledge dying iniquity. It's me that's messed up. My wires are, are crossed. You know? that Thou hast transgressed against the Lord, thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, said the Lord. That was me. I was out there in transgressions, rebellion. I was a sinner. I had to raise my hand and say, It's I, Lord. You listening to this video, have you done this? Well, that's your problem right there. And you got to do it in sincerity. That means when you become an offering to the Lord, when you trade your wicked, corrupt self in, you don't pick it back up. You don't go back and get you. You don't dig you back up from the grave. Say, I want my life back. I want to, I'm going to continue being unloving, unkind, unfriendly, you know, unmerciful, unrepentant. Yeah, I'm going to continue being a corrupt sinner. That's what so many do. They not trusting the Lord with, with laying down that life. That's covetousness. That's the covetousness right there. That you won't give that life back in book of Job. 
chapter 1, Job said, The Lord giveth, and the Lord taketh away. He gave you life. But remember, you're being tested. He that is faithful in the least will be faithful in much. Right? But if you unjust in the least, you will be unjust in much. So he gave you this little sample life to see what you're going to do with it. See if you're worthy of a greater. You getting this? The greater is he himself. And, and But you so busy, buddy, you can't see it. You got Your mind is so cluttered with all these cares of this life, you know, that you can't take the time to understand that's what you miss, a relationship with Jesus Christ, the one that loved you and gave himself for you. Right. Let's get back here. Jeremiah 3.14. Oh, turned out backsliding children, said the Lord, for I am, look, married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and will bring you to Zion. That's what he's after, right there, to bring you one of a city and two of a family, to bring you unto Zion, man. Huh? Faith worketh by love. That's what we're dealing with. Faith worketh by love. Didn't I say Mark? Let's get to Mark. Mark 12. We got to go over it, man. Uh, like I said, after you finish reading the Bible, I said, Lord, what I do? Read it again. You go over it. You go over it till you get it in. All right. That's the only way you're going to enter into the promised land. And that's what the children of Israel was doing. Even though the wilderness babies, they in, they they the ones that went in. Remember that first generation was so rebellious because they had seen the, the hand of God. They, they had seen what he did to Egypt. What he did to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh's uh, men. They saw the Red Sea open and they walked through it. So they saw God's hand, his signs and his wonders. A lot of y'all seen God, God being good to you. Especially a lot of the, the seniors, the elders. Yeah, y'all been through a lot through the years. Some of y'all done been through uh, uh, with Jim Crow. Y'all remember that? Some of y'all remember slavery. Picking cotton and stuff like that. Y'all remember sharecropping. But y'all the ones, and many of y'all, y'all hearts far from the Lord. So it's these wilderness babies. It was the wilderness babies that got circumcised in the wilderness. They the ones that went in. Right? They didn't even see the miracles of God. They didn't see what God did to Egypt. Right? They children went in. For you, 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 you ones that, uh, what they say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Them the ones that died out there in the wilderness. Stony heart. That pride. Pride. The ones that covered it, they covered it in their lives. They think they done seen it all. They know it all. That's it. You know? And that was the scribes and Pharisees spirit. When Jesus was the new thing that the Father of Heaven brought into the earth, the new thing was His Son his, and a new name. But people like that old, them old ways of uh, tradition, and they, they reject the new. Yeah. Let's finish this. Mark 12. Here's, here's what the new that Jesus brought. Here's the new, y'all. Mark 12, 29. And Jesus answered him, The first of all commandments is here. That means you got your ears got to be open. Look at that here. With the, you know, with that capital A. Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Can we hear this? It ain't two. It ain't three. You understand that? It ain't the Trinity. You know what I'm saying? It ain't the Jehovah Witness what they preaching. He just told us, Here, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Lord, didn't Jesus tell us, I am my Father, one, John 10, 30? 
You know, remember this is who gonna live, who gonna die. Remember the father said, "This is my beloved son. Hear ye him." Matthew uh, seventeen five. And look at what the son is saying. These words are in red. Look what this says. And thou shalt love. Faith worketh by love. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Look. With all thy heart. And with all thy soul. And with all thy mind. And with all thy strength. Now you see why you feel abandoned. Now you see why you cold and unloving, ain't growing in the spirit. Uh, now you see your shortcomings. This is why you fall short of the glory of God right here. This is what the Son of God brought us. This is what was missing from our lives. This is why we couldn't be made whole. This is what makes us complete. In God, what we reading right now, and with all thy strength, this is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely, this: Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Do you know that Jesus loved us as He loves Himself? That's what He came to give us. His love. Now I do have to hit this one. Now, y'all seen me hit it before. See this message is simple. But it's the hardest. Sometimes it's the simple. The simplest thing. Is the hardest thing for some people to grasp. The simplest thing is the hardest. For us to grasp. Proverbs 10 and 12. Hatred stirs up strikes. But love. Covers all sin. And that's what he brought us. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all sin. This is a simple message, but it's the hardest. Right? Because why? We think we know. Because we think we know. What you think you know, you don't know. That's it. Remember the scribes and the Pharisees? Why did they reject Jesus? Because they thought they knew. They thought they had it all. They ain't had no need for Jesus. In their heart. And what is Jesus telling us? Jesus just told us. In Mark 12. What was, the, what was the deal with us? He just showed us what was the deal. Basically he's saying. This is all your problems right here. This is all your issues. This is a meditation message. Jesus, let's, let's read it again. Mark 12, 29. Jesus answered him said, The first of all commandments is here. Here it is, O Israel. The Lord, our God, is one Lord. Knowing first that he's one. He's not two, he's not three. He's one. What's next, Jesus? And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Look. And with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all, and don't tell me you're doing this right now. If you are, your joy is full. I'm like, if you are, I'm and I'm definitely gonna say, where's y'all videos? Y'all should be teachers. If you're doing this, you a teacher. You a master teacher. If you are doing this, you got to have some videos. Otherwise, you lying. You lying. Because you got to show your works. Because this will produce those works. With all thy mind, all thy strength, this is the first commandment. And the second, like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Because Jesus did this. That's why I can call you a liar. Jesus did this. And he told us that this is would be our mark. That will become our mark. What do you mean by that, King Superman? All right. I'll show you what I mean by that. First, uh, let's go to Psalms. 
Psalms 91. Psalms 91. I did a little bit of this last video, I think. Psalms 91. Let's read it. It says, because he has set his love. Look. What Jesus just told us. Because he has set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. And I will set him on high. See a city set on a hill cannot be hid. That's why I said where's your video? Because he had known. Look. My name. And that's going to be the name that's published in this book. King James 66 red letter. He told us he would publish his name. And that's the name he exalted. Philippians 2, 9 through 11. The name of Jesus. That's right. Above every name. Right? He shall call. Remember, the Lord our God is one Lord. He's one Lord. He shall call upon me. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I will answer him, and I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him, and I will honor him. Ain't that everything we want? And he told he would be merciful unto us and all that. He would bring us to Zion. He's married to us. One of a city, two of a family. And with long life, look, will I satisfy him? It's eternal life. This is eternal life. And show him, look, my salvation. My salvation. Now, we know that carries on into the New Testament, the New Covenant. My salvation. He will show us his salvation when we love his name. Let's see what name. Let's see what he's giving us. Acts 4.10 Be it known unto you all. And to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you have crucified. Let's read that again. Who, who crucified Jesus? Be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you have crucified we Israel crucified Jesus because uh with Moses we did the animals and we was waiting on Jesus the animals we had to continue 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 until who that which is perfect is come which is Jesus so we crucified Israel crucified we read it now Israel crucified Jesus whom God had raised from the dead even by him does this man stand before you whole? This is the stone which was set at night of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation. I will show him my salvation. I will show him my salvation. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men. Whereby we must be saved. Was there another name in there besides Jesus Christ? Did I miss something? Was there another name in there besides Jesus Christ? Did I miss something? I only saw Jesus Christ. Remember, we're using the book. Because the Bible said we're going to be judged by the book. Right? The Lamb's Book of Life. Is not Jesus the Lamb? He will show us his salvation. John 1. Let's see if Jesus is the Lamb. 29. John 1, 29. The next day John see of Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of of the world. This is he of whom I said after me cometh a man which is preferred before me, for he was before me, and I knew him not, but that 
he should be made manifest to Israel. Look. And it said, told us Israel crucified Jesus. In Acts 10, Acts 4, excuse me, Acts 4, verse 10 through 12, Israel crucified Jesus. Therefore, I am come baptizing with water. Right? This is the Lamb. Jesus says, told us Jesus is the Lamb. But don't the Bible tell us this is the Lamb's book of life? Uh... Uh, right? Is this not called the Lamb's Book of Life, y'all? <laughs> Let's go to uh, Revelation 21, 27. Revelation 21, 27. End of the book. End of the book, y'all. And there shall in no wise enter into any... Enter... Into it... Anything... That's talking about the Holy City. Anything that defileth neither whatsoever work of an abomination or make of a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. So that means that's Jesus' name. That's Jesus. John told us that the Lamb is Jesus. John told us that, that the Lamb is Jesus. John 1 29. Do we need to get it again? Are your ears open? John 1 29. The next day, John see of Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So he said, He had set his love upon me. And remember Psalms 91, He had known my name. He set his love upon me. And then Jesus told the Lord our God is one Lord. And we're supposed to love him with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, all our strength. Oh, we ain't done. This is a basic message today. I, this is basic for everybody whosoever will. And this is what's going to make us or break us. This is a basic message. John 13, 34. Look, John 13, 34. A new commandment. Jesus, this is what Jesus brought us. That's what we read in Mark. It was it was the, the one of the Ten Commandments. All we had in the Old Testament was Ten Commandments. Don't forget about that 600 stuff they be talking about. 613. He put 600. He made it 10. He made the 613, if you count it, and I never counted. I don't know if it's 615. It might be 500. But anyway, he made it 10. He made the 10 commandments. The old co See how the devil, if the devil keep telling you something over and over and over, y'all see how this works. That's why we got to keep reading the, God, the word of God over and over and over again. So we want that to stick. But the devil can keep telling you a lie over and over. It's 613 commandments. It's 613 commandments. It's 613. And you believe that. You believe it. But the Bible always tells you the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. Didn't Moses go get Ten Commandments? Y'all see what I'm saying? <laughs> Who, whose report will you believe? Whose report were you? I'm going to believe the Bible. It was Ten Commandments. Because if we don't believe the Bible, then you're not going to believe what Jesus said. That's what Jesus told us. And John, before I get John 13, let's go to John 5. John 5. And, uh, that's what I'm saying. That's what Jesus was telling us. John 5, y'all. Uh, John 5, let's start with, uh, John 5, 38, 38. And ye have not the word, his word, the scriptures, abide in you for whom he had sent. And Jesus said he was sent, right? Matthew 15, 24, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Him ye believe not. See what I'm saying? They, we don't want to believe Jesus. We don't want to believe Jesus. Remember, God said, I'm going to show you my salvation. Right? 
If you set your love upon me, that's Jesus talking. Because you had known my name, he said, I'm going to show you my salvation. That's Psalm 91. Look at this. Search the scriptures. These words ain't read. For in them you think you have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. Now Jesus told us that the Holy Ghost would testify of him. Didn't he tell us that? The Holy Ghost would testify of him. Do I need to get that? Well, yeah, let's get it. We're going to come back to John 5. Uh, uh, what is it, 15, 16? He said the Holy Ghost would testify of me. Uh, uh, 15, 26, 15, 26, let's get it, 15, John 15, 26, we're going to do this right, y'all, but when the comforter has come, words in red, whom I, is saying Jesus, will send unto you from the Father, because I'm going to be in my, my glory, so I, I'm, I'm the Father, so I'm going to send you the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost. Right? Even the Spirit of Truth, which y'all know that's me. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. John 14, 6. Which proceeded from the Father. That's my, my heavenly position. I'm glorified. I'll be glorified. So I'll be sending it, him, the, Holy, the Comforter, the Holy Ghost, to you from the Father. Look, he shall testify of me. The Holy Ghost will testify of Jesus. Okay. Now let's get back to John 5. Basic message, man. I'm, I'm, do, I'm giving basics today. Basic teaching. John 5, what we leave off. This is basic. Just to show you that what's missing from uh, man falling short is the love of God. That's it. Faith works by love. You can't have no faith without this love. And the love and faith is one and same. It's Jesus entering into your heart. That's a simple message. And ye have not his word. Right? And that's believing his word. We're going to get that too. Abiding in you. For whom he has sent. There it is. Him ye believe not. Y'all don't believe Jesus. Search the scriptures for in them you think ye have eternal life. And they are they which testify of me. The Holy Ghost through the Holy Ghost. We just read that. And ye would look. You would not come to me, Jesus. You would not come to Jesus, me, my name, that ye might have life. That's why you cold. That's why you unloving, unmerciful. That's why you're not kind. That's why you're not gentle. That's why you're not sweet. That's why you're not loving. That's why you're not godly. Huh? That's why you still sick. That's why you still jacked up, feeble minded. That's why you still crazy. Y'all getting this? That's why you you feel death in you. You far from God. You had you don't have his presence. You don't have the gift of God. You don't have the strength of God. You don't have the glory of God. Y'all getting this? I receive not honor from men, but I know you that you have. Look, not. That's what Jesus is telling you. The love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name. You won't receive that name that he said you had set your love upon me. My name. You had loved my name, because you know my name. You can't love him till you accept the name. Let me say that again. You cannot love him until you accept his name. And ye receive me not, if another shall come in his own name. That's what we're dealing with here in this chapter, the name. Him you will receive. You receive Muhammad. You receive Malcolm X. You receive Dr. Martin Luther King. But when Jesus come in the name of God, my Father, how can ye believe which receive honor one of another and seek it not the honor that cometh from God only? This name came from heaven, came from God only. Huh? 
So you don't believe the works of Moses. And, and he told us ahead of time. Let's get that in Exodus. He told us way ahead of time he would be sending his name. Uh, Exodus 23, 20. His name will be come through his angel. Right? Exodus 23, 20. Behold, I sent an angel. This is Jesus talking. This is God sent unto This is the Lord said unto my Lord. Sit thou at my right hand. To make thy enemies thy footstool. The angel of the Lord is God himself. Behold, I sent an angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee into the place which I had prepared. So he sent himself to the place that he had prepared. That's your uh, New Testament, John 14, 1 and 2. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would tell you. I would told you. I go, look, prepare. He's the angel. A place for you. Jesus is that angel. The angel of his presence. He told us ahead of time what he was going to do. Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah. 63. Jesus Christ is that angel. To bring us to the prepared place. Uh, what? Zion. He said, I'm going to bring you where? I'm married to you, and I'm going to bring you to Zion. Right? Uh, Isaiah 63, 7. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord hath bestowed upon us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he had bestowed on them according to his look. The mercies. That's his love. Cover of our sins. And according to the multitude of his loving kindness. For he said, surely they are my people. Children that will not lie. So he was their savior. When Jesus I saved, then he show us his salvation. In all their affliction, he was afflicted. And the angel, there it is, of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them and bare them and carried them all the days of old. If you would receive it, that's your salvation right there. Jesus bringing you uh, into the place he prepared. What place did he prepare, King Shoot? Man, I'm like, well, let's show you. Psalm 69, let's get it. Psalm 16, it's a done deal. This is done, y'all. This is done. You you got to step into it. Uh, in fact, let's start with verse 29. Psalm 69, 29. Let's go there. I am poor and sorrowful, so you got to become humble. Let thy salvation, we just read Acts 4.10, that's Jesus Christ. Neither is there salvation any other. No other name under heaven given whereby we must be saved. No other name. That thy salvation, O God, set me on high. Right there. Didn't he say he going to set you on high because you know his name? We read that in Psalm 91. You set your love upon Jesus. Look, I will praise the name of God with a song. Are you doing that? And will magnify him with thanksgiving. Are you doing that? This also shall please the Lord. Look, better than the old covenant. An ox or bullock that had horns and hooves. That's why we crucified Jesus. The humble shall see this and be glad. And your heart shall live that see God. Are you seeking God's face? Are you seeking God's presence? Are you seeking God's rest? I'm talking about with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. Are you seeking that way? For the Lord heareth the poor and despises not his prisoners. Let the heaven and the earth praise him and the seas and everything that moveth therein. For God will say, look. Zion, did he say I'm going to bring you to Zion? My city. This is the city of the Lord. Ain't no 
church made by hands, Acts 7, 48. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. John 18, 36. For God will save Zion and will build the cities, look, of Judah. This is the house the Lord built. Psalm 127. Say the Lord build a house, they labor in vain and build it. Say the Lord keep the city, the watchman wake it, but in vain. That they may dwell there. This is our dwelling place. And have it in possession. You're supposed to possess this. The seed also of his servants shall inherit. This is your inheritance. And they that love, look, love his name, Jesus, shall dwell therein. You got to love the name of Jesus. Isn't that John 13? Did we? Let's get that. I think I was going there. John 13, 34. If we read it, let's read it again. A new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another as I had loved you, that ye also love one another. 